The following is a selected video from MasterTheContent.com, where you will find an extensive video library of lectures for a variety of standardized admission tests. We offer over 600 hours of detailed video lectures for a multitude of standardized tests. Use our interactive in-lecture table of contents to find specific topics of interest. Work through numerous in-lecture examples to help you internalize concepts. To learn more, visit MasterTheContent.com. Your career, our passion. The primary, the main structures of the respiratory system. So we have uh, the nose, the pharynx, the larynx, the trachea, the bronchi, the bronchioles, the lungs, and the alveoli. Those are the main structures of the uh, respiratory system. And as you can see, they're very nicely depicted in the diagram we have to the right of the screen right there. So the nose is basically comprised or composed of um, external, external and internal portions. So what happens here is through the nose, we have a cavity we refer to as a nasal cavity that opens, which is also part of the nose, the internal nose, that opens into the pharynx, the second structure right there. Now, as far as the nose is concerned, it performs very critical functions. It's responsible for warming, uh, moistening, humidifying inhaled air. It's also responsible for what we call olfaction, or our sense of smell, or ability to detect odors in uh, inhaled air. The nose also helps serve as a resonating chamber for sound as it passes through your airways, uh, which enables you to do things like speak, to make sound, uh, which helps you actually have a voice. Now, the pharynx, the second structure that we have right here, also referred to as the throat. It's a funnel-shaped uh, section of this airway right here. Uh, it begins at the opening of what uh, the end of the internal nose, an opening we refer to as the internal nares or the internal nostrils, and it moves all the way down to a different structure we call the larynx. So this section right here is what we refer to as the pharynx. Now the larynx, also called the voice box, it's a short cartilaginous chamber which actually connects the pharynx to the trachea. Now the larynx is primarily responsible for our voice because it contains our vocal cords, right? Now, uh, after the larynx, we have the trachea, which is also referred to as the windpipe. It's a tubular passageway, and it's responsible for directing or channeling air uh, into these two different lungs or into your lungs through these two different pipes or pipe-like structures we call the bronchi. So we have a right main bronchus, and we also have a left main bronchus, each of them leading into the right and left lung, respectively. Now we also obviously have the lungs, in which gaseous exchange actually takes place more specifically at small structures referred to as alveoli inside the lungs. So that's what we're going to take a look at when we get to that point. Now, 